Hello everyone, uh, in this video I am going to create a Spring for WebMDC application uh, using IntelliJ IDEA. The reason why I am using this idea is probably it's because the best Java IDE ever. Uh, I used to use Eclipse and NetBeans and some other stuff but this seems to be the best so far I have seen. And uh, developing a Spring application or any other Java based application with this IDE is really cool. So let me just show you how what I mean and in the process I'll be <coughs> showing how to create a, a Spring for WebMDC application. Okay, let's get started. So this is a new project. Resize it properly. So this is the ID. I need one dependency. See how quick that was? Okay. Next. Let's create the controller class. I'm going to have a test.jsp page which I haven't created yet. Okay, controller part is done. And the return type string. <coughs> Next, let's do the web test part. fancy let's XML file the standard Java E two. So this is some pretty standard stuff. I have the servlet which I'm using the dispatcher servlet. It's going to start at the beginning for any URL. The configuration is Spring Servlet XML, which I haven't created yet. And it's going to use the context loader listener. So let's add the Spring Servlet XML. see how easy that is I press on start and XML and spring config from here so easy peasy now configure let's make it a spring and I add 
the resource component scan um, dot minus as you have seen it added the necessary URL automatically and gave me this suggestion pretty fast and without adding anything by myself the ID takes care of it okay what's next resources test in Java now the final component is the configuration file let's add that I'll start Then the web in the C configure adapter. Configure adapter, okay. Set a bean for the resolver, internal resource resolver. Configuration done. Last for the resource mapping. Command Shift A for a override method, and I'm going to use configure our default servlet handling. Uh, default servlet handling. Okay. I'm going to use enable. Okay, that's it. So let's run it and see what happens. So first we have to configure the Tomcat for this project. Done. Let's run it. Shift F9 to run it in the debug mode hopefully everything goes well okay so it works thanks for watching I hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did or thumbs down if you didn't uh, if you have any question feel free to ask on the comments below cheers